So we'll start out with a simple Python program using the repl.it website. So the most simple program is just going to say hello world. So we'll put a print statement in the parentheses, quote, hello world. And then click run. Notice over here in the interactive window, the output hello world shows up. You can ignore this little none right there. That's the return value of the whole program. We'll get into that some other day. Alternatively, over in the immediate window, you can put the exact same command. Hit enter, and the result shows up. The difference is I can have multiple commands in the script window. Whereas in the interactive or immediate window, I'm limited to a single command at a time. In addition to printing text, you can also print numbers and math expressions. And as you can see, the result, 55 and 10. 10, of course, being the result of 5 plus 5. Interestingly, if I put the 5 in quotes, then it ceases to be a number in the mind of the computer, and it becomes text. And when I run that, it'll actually say 55 as we read it, but the computer sees it as printing a 5 and then printing a second 5. As you saw in that slide, if we say 5.0, you would expect the result of this line to be identical to the result of this line. However, notice that it is 10.0 as opposed to 10. The reason for that is because they are different type. 10.0 is a floating point or decimal, and 10 is an int or an integer or more accurately, a whole number. What do you expect to happen if we mix the two types? Int and, 5 point, uh, and a float being 5.0. As you can see, the result is 10.0 and not 10. And that's because this int 5 gets promoted to float status, and the result becomes a float. And that has to do with the concept of type, which we'll get into another time. But that's all for today. Short and sweet. So in recap, a print statement will create output. If you put text within quotes, the text that's within the quotes will show up as output. If you put numbers between the parentheses of the print statement or a math expression, the result will show up as output. If you put numbers within quotes, it does not add them together, but it concatenates them or puts one after the other. There's a difference between integer math and float math, and the result will be integer or a float. And then when you mix the two types, the result becomes a float. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Be sure to check out brainstemschool.com for posts relating to Python and programming. Check out the lesson slides and download the free ebook for a crash course in Python programming. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.